Good evening, everybody. This is Sweat, and it's Monday, so it's time for another Military Monday after last week's very first episode, which a lot of you guys really enjoyed, and I'm, uh, I'm really happy you guys supported it and enjoyed it so much. So let's kick it right off. First of all, well, let's very quickly say that a um, few changes, as you can see. I'm going to try to, uh, I'm not going to post the comments this week. I'm getting a really late start with classes and some other stuff that got in the way, but a lot of people didn't like the way it uh, it kind of blocked the gameplay and, and the kill feed and such. So maybe I'll, um, in the future, maybe I'll do something covering up the chat box. But I kind of like seeing uh, people's reactions to the to the chat box. And uh, so we'll see. We'll just see moving forward. But hope you guys can, uh, can forgive me for not having the images of the questions displayed on the screen. And I'm also going to leave out the names this week because a lot of you guys had the same question or a variation, different variations of the exact same question. And I don't want to leave too many of you guys out because it is kind of answering a bunch of questions that I was even getting some of the same questions that I answered in the first video, uh, in that very same video. So uh, just just goes to show I, I do try to, to answer as many of the questions as possible, especially if I get them a lot of them, such as the very first one, which a lot of people had the question or uh, made the statement, I have no idea what an MOS is. Um, and that was a response of or the, the response to the first question, what was my MOS? The MOS in the military in the Marine Corps is Military Occupational Specialty. It's your job field, all right? It's um, it's basically, it, it's actually your job title because the job titles go by numbers, the, um, an MOS number. Uh, for example, my number, my MOS was 7051, all right? And, uh, and 7051 was Aircraft Rescue and Firefighting or ARF or, or um, also CFR. Crash fire rescue was also uh, another term that that was used before. So those are MOSs. Your MOS is your job, um, basically your job title, uh, your job occupation, your military occupational specialty to be exact. So the next question is another question that's been asked a few times, and I didn't want to lead off with this one, um, but it gets asked in not just Military Monday videos, but a lot of videos for people, um, I guess, I don't know if you're young or, or what, but... The question is, Sweat, have you ever killed someone? And uh, I, I may be curious a lot. I have not, and but I will want. Uh, I do want to just say that's a question you don't ask. Um, for a lot of people, they don't understand why you don't ask that. Um, you know, oh, it's just a question. I'm just curious. Blah 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 blah. Well, for a lot of people that have, you know, taking uh, take, and it's not. This is none of my business for for those that have or whatever. But I can tell you right now, it's never a pleasant experience, and I can assure you, these these people don't think it's a pleasant experience to have to do the things that they have to do. Um, or the things that they're ordered to do, and for for people in the military that kill someone, um, you know, a lot of times it's an experience they just don't want to relive over and over again, and it's not our place to question that, and it's just something that is never brought up. It's proper etiquette. It's 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 uh, being polite. It's giving them the respect they deserve. Um, so don't ever ask that question. And if you guys see that question. Maybe you can uh, you can a tell them they don't ask that question, or uh, or b you can tell them to direct them in this video, which I hope I did a good enough uh, a good enough explanation of why I don't think you asked that question. Because if I see that question in my videos, it's getting removed. Uh, I'm not getting blocked. I'm not going to block anybody for asking that question. But just don't ask the question, and uh, and if you do, I'll just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. All I can say about that. I don't. I don't really want to talk about that anymore. Uh, next question, though, is: Have you ever considered rejoining the United States Marine Corps or any other branch of the U.S. military, i.e., Air Force, Navy, Army, etc.? Well, you cover just about all the branches of the military. Have I ever considered rejoining? Um, probably every week, at some point, at some time. Um, probably not as much some weeks as others. Um, uh, I just get. I just get the itch. I get the urge. I. I I'm very patriotic. Uh, I'm very emotional when it comes to to this country, defending this country, and and seeing that um, that you know people are still over there, uh, keeping track with my buddies that are still in the Marine Corps, and I don't keep in track with them enough, but I'm still involved in Facebook and stuff like that with them, and can see what's going on in their lives, and uh, and just reminiscing old times. And it I didn't have the best time in the military, but I was very proud of what I did, and uh, and. I, it's going to go on to another question, but um, but I really wish I'd have been able to do more. And yeah, all the time I think about being able to uh, to go back and and do it all over again or continue doing it because I was really good at it and um, and I really enjoyed the the time I spent with a lot of those people. So the next is, are you glad you didn't go to Iraq? No, I wanted to go to Iraq because that's um, uh, I want or Afghanistan is kind of the reason I, I joined up. Um, what did you do when you're stationed in Asia? Again, I. I cooperated with the um with the Thai forces there 
and uh, just exercise, peacekeeping. Again, we uh, we just did military exercises. It's just kind of practice uh, large scale operations for you know maybe in the future when we'd ever have to collaborate with Thai forces. And I think this question was some from someone in the Swedish military. So thank you for your service and thank you for asking the question. But it was just a collaboration with their military and and what to do in case we'd ever have to uh, to do anything or collaborate with them on a large scale uh, in the future. And the next question is, there's a request among a, among a bunch of y'all Marines, I like how y'all Marines, to go back to the M14, M1A platform rifle and the 1911s versus the AR-15s and the M9s for standard issue. What is your opinion on this? I think there are positives and negatives to both the assault rifle and the pistol. I can say that I think the AR-15, I think it's about time to move on from that. Not move backwards though. Um, as much as I enjoyed just the basic operations of the M14, whenever uh, the few times I had to, to operate with it in, in drill and, and uh, in high school and whatnot, and I am a big fan of the 7.62 by 39 millimeter round, but I don't think either weapon system is really practical, especially well not for large scale military operations, not for entire platoons and companies of Marines uh, or any military force. Now special forces, that's a different, that's a whole different breed. Those guys. Uh, you know, they train extensively with their weapons. They don't need to necessarily carry as much ammo as a large scale operation if they know they're going to be in and out and they want, um, they want a particular weapon for a particular job. But as far as large scale operations, no, I don't think either weapon system really uh, lends itself to like entire large forces of Marines. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, I encourage you to please hit that like button right now because it certainly helps the channel and helps the series grow. If you want to ask me questions on social media like Twitter and Facebook, those links will be down in the description below. And if you want to ask me questions about Military Monday, you want them featured on this series, then do it closer to Monday so I have an opportunity to, uh, to remember and, and to bookmark that so I can address it directly in the next episode. Anyway, now is a great time to catch up on my Medal of Honor Warfighter videos. The one on the left is about the helicopters and the heavy gunner, and the one on the right is the Canadian Spec Ops, which is by far my favorite class to date. And if you're new here, just click that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you again soon.